he has done. Thank him for what he's about to do. I want you to thank him. Remember the good things Jesus has done for you and thank him. Remember the battles he has fought for you and thank him. Remember the upliftment he has given to you when the enemy came to destroy you. Jesus stood against them. He lifted up his standard against them like the flood. Appreciate him. Thank him for his love. Thank him for his mercies. Thank him for his grace. Thank him for his protection. Thank him for his provision. Thank him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him.
we say thank God, you feel there's nothing to thank God about. No other things are not working for you. When we say thank God, it's because of what we are saying that you are not saying now. And God chooses to make it like that so that you don't see it. Because you just want to know how faithful you are. How much do you love him? How much do you still believe in him? So when we say thank God, thank him. Thank him for what he has done for you. Thank him for the things he has not yet done. Thank him from your heart. Thank him. Abundance flourish in the grateful heart. The little he has done for you. Remember them all and thank him. I want you to wave your hands to thank him. Wave your hands from the bottom of your heart. Thank him for the life he has given to you. It's not by power. It's not by mind. It's not by your hard work. It's not by your, your wisdom, your ability. No, it's not by your prowess. It's by God's grace. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. He picked you up. It's so many before he chose you. He has shoes to bless you. He has shoes to make you great. He has shoes to make you the best. Appreciate him. Thank him. Put aside the little challenges you are going through now. And appreciate him. Appreciate him. Jesus, I thank you. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you for the beauty you have given to us. In Jesus' mighty name. The throne of mercy is the throne of grace. And when the grace at work in you, his glory must be seen. Hallelujah. I want you to turn your Bibles quickly to the book of Psalms, Psalm 91. I'll start my reading from verse 1. Psalm 91, verse 1. Uh, it says, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Can I have it in N? LT, New Living Translation. New Living Translation. Living Translation. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High must find rest in His shadows. This will bring me to my message titled spiritual authority spiritual authority spiritual authority many of us we go to churches we pray but we don't know spiritual laws i told you in the next two three months i'll be teaching you on spiritual growth how to grow spiritually but before you can grow it's good you know the laws there are laws that you must know there are spiritual laws that you must know. And if you cannot keep these laws, you cannot grow. So if I'm teaching you how to grow, how to pray, how to fast, and I'm not teaching you the real thing that you must do to do these things and have results, it means I, I don't know what I'm doing. So for you to grow, you must learn to know some of these laws. And one of these laws, which is one of the major laws, is spiritual authority spiritual authority the authority that is over you the powers that can influence you easily it's good you know these things the kind of authority that can influence you easily i also call it spiritual coverage spiritual cover spiritual authority the kind of power that can i can i just read this scripture uh, fast before we go to it. NLT Psalm 91. Can I have it? Verse 2. Psalm 91. Psalm 91 verse 2. This I declared about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I trust him. The next verse please. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from Deadly what? Very good. Let's take it together. Verse 4. He will with his feathers. He will with his what? His faithfulness, faithful promises are your and what? 
You know what they call armor? Your weapon. Your weapon that you can use to fight. And, and your armor and your what? Protection. They also protect you. You can also fight with it. Can I have the next verse? Can we go together? One, two, go. The next one. In darkness. Not the disaster that strikes at. The next one. Can we read this place again? Did you understand it at all? He said, though a thousand fall at your side. He's talking about troubles, right? And 10,000 are dying around you. This evil will not do what? Because you have taken the Lord as your what? Your shelter, right? King James said, he that dwell in the secret place of the Most High. The secret place. Spiritual authority. Can we have the next verse? Again. The next verse. If you... Your shelter. The next verse. 10. No evil will... No plague. Near your home. The next one. Again, let's take it. Go, go back to the verse 11. Let's take it again. The next one. The next one. Just hold on. He said you will trap upon the lions and what? Cobra, snake. You will do what? Crush fierce lion and serpents under your what? Go ahead, the next verse 14. The Lord says, Again, no, he said, The Lord says, Can we take it again? The, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my again. The next verse. Just hold on. He said, the Lord says, I will rescue, I will protect, I will fight. But you, there's a price. You must love him first. Now he said, when they call upon me, I will answer. I will be with them in troubles. So he didn't say troubles will not come. This, he didn't say so. He said, I will be with them in troubles. I will rescue and honor them. I will rescue. I will also honor. He will not just rescue you. He must honor you. Because he's with you. Because you love him. It's you that brought him to you by loving him. Can I have the next one? I just want to take it to the end. I will reward them with love and give them. Can we take it again? Spiritual authority, spiritual coverage, spiritual authority. I want to turn on Bible to the book of Second Chronicles twenty twenty. It's a very popular scripture. I want you to see it. He said, and they rose early in the morning. The king was faced with battle. The king. It was a time of trouble. 
And the Israelites were confused, just like the way they are at war now. They were, they were confused because the enemies were much powerful and overwhelming. And the king said, let me just read it. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe in his prophets, so shall ye do what? Prosper. The prophetic order is a money ministry. Money. Any prophetic ministry is ministry of enjoyment. Just that fake are too much. Everywhere fake, 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 fake. That is the problem. Anything that God has, devils always fake it. They will bring their own. Any good thing that God has, devil has his own. That your Bible, devil has his own Bible. If you read it, you won't believe it's this your Bible. They've twisted everything upside down. The same Bible. Devil have their own. Devil have their own Jesus. If you read about him, you will laugh. They will have Jesus Christ film on the YouTube and the internet. If you watch some of those films, the kind of Jesus you will see, what Jesus is doing, you will laugh. It's the devil. So we have a lot of fake prophetic ministries out there. They can see vision very well. Devils also see vision now. Have you met a good sagoma before? A good native doctor? If he prophesy for you, you run no? He will tell you <laughs> the color of your pants. He will call the exact amount of money that is in your account and call the name of the bank. He will even tell you the way the money came, what you have spent, what you did. Devils prophesy. They even prophesy more because they want to convince you. The prophetic order is a ministry of money. It's a ministry of solution. It's a ministry of breakthrough. Spiritual authority. I want you to turn your Bibles because of time. We're running out of time. Turn your Bibles with me to the book, book of Hosea. I call it Hosi. Hosea. Hosea. H-O-S-E-A. Hosea. Hosea 12 verse 13. And by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was he preserved. By a prophet the Lord brought Israel from captivity. By a prophet God also preserved Israel. Israel is not one person. It's a nation. Very many people. Multitude. The prophetic ministry is designed to deliver you. You should know it. Then when you are delivered, it's also designed to protect you. It's one of the most powerful ministries in any ministry. If you meet men of God, they are afraid of prophetic ministries. They are afraid of prophetic calling because it's very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. They fear it. You cannot make yourself a prophet. God chooses his prophet. You cannot make yourself a prophet. It's in the book of Jeremiah if you read it. God chooses his prophet. He will choose you. He will raise you up. He will train you. And he will empower you. That is how God chooses his prophet. God will train you. If you see any great prophet, he has his own ministry. He has his own pattern. The other one has his own pattern. They are different. They cannot be the same. Spiritual authority. Uh, I'm going to try my best to be very, very fast. So this church is designed not just to deliver you. It's also designed to protect you. Right? Spiritual coverage. 
Many years ago, uh, uh, one of my pastors is here now. He invited a lady from Christ Embassy to this church. Then we were still in Ugeli. It's about seven years ago. To eight years now. And the lady came, was coming with her daughter, grown-up daughter, woman, that has finished school. Big girl. And the lady, she will be coming once, once. She always give us money. And we were very poor, so we value the money a lot. And one day, this lady was living in Eda Okokoko, one of these houses. And one day, she slept with her daughter. They didn't wake up. I felt bad. I was so angry. I was telling God. I said, why is it that you didn't show me? Ha! Ah, this woman, she will come and give me money. The last money she gave me was 5000 That's what I used to fuel the generator. Now she died. You could not even tell me she would die. And I saw her two weeks before she died, or even that week. I was so angry. And the Lord said, son, she is not under your grace. I said, what? He said, she is not under your grace. That she's coming does not mean she's under this grace. She's not under this grace. I cannot protect her. I felt bad, but I felt relieved. I said, wow. So she's not under this grace. Oh. So that is why they just took her like that. Okay? Really, she had a shot she was going. She was just coming for prayers. Last year, a young man came to this church, very young guy, and he bought us 100 bags of cement. We were trying to build one of these buildings. And within two weeks or a month, I was told he had an accident and he broke his waist and died in Ogara. In short, there were like four in the vehicle. About three of them died. And the one that bought me the cement died too. I felt bad. The Lord did not answer me. He only frowned at me. I don't suppose to be angry. Because I know. He is not yet under the grace. He has been coming for a month. Yet, he is not yet under this grace. He has not accepted us yet spiritual authority. What cover, let me use that word, I also said the spiritual coverage. What cover are you under? You need to define it now. What is covering you? It matters a lot. It means a lot. There's what the Lord taught me. He said, they are prostitutes. I said, but she's a married woman. She cannot be a prostitute. He didn't answer me. You know what this God calls in the spirit? Spiritual prostitute. It's somebody that moves from church to church. Today is in this church. Tomorrow is in this church. Next tomorrow is in this church. The other day is in this church. It's a prostitute. It's what God taught me. Spiritual prostitute. He always move from church there are some of you, before you came here, you have been to two churches. This morning, no. You don't go to churches. And they prayed for you. And you come here. So what do you want to receive now? What do you want to receive? You cannot receive. It doesn't work like that. There are some of you, you, have, you native doctors have even called you on phone and prayed for you this morning. You say, now so would they do one more? Would they use all of the design they do Is the truth. You know, there's a way I run the church. I, I don't deceive myself. I don't deceive people. I tell them the truth. Go me. I don't want to miss heaven. You must define a cover, a protection, a source of protection. You must have it. And you def it might not be this church, but ho hold on to that one. I don't believe in TMG. I believe in mountain of fire. Hold the mountain of fire very well. 
is very good. If you believe in TMG, hold it, TMG. Hold it very well. <laughs> Spiritual authority. Spiritual cover. It matters a lot. It will protect you. It will save you. It will save you unnecessary troubles. I read the Psalm 91 for you. They that dwell in the secret place, if you make the Lord your shelter, he will make his shadow your protection. He will cover you with his feathers, with his wings. So the kind of shelter that you have made of the Lord matters a lot too. We have shelter that has armor. They are bulletproof. If you shoot it, po, po, it will not work. Even if the gun shoots, the, it has bulletproof. It will not work. We have shelter that they use plant to do. If you cut it, you cannot get to the person. But if you have a good gun, you can shoot and kill people inside. We have shelter that they use tashes. Tashes. You know what they call tash? Yeah? Tash house. Tash house. Those are those days tash that does not be, have anything. Huh? There are some shelter. They use tash. Tash houses. They use tashes to do. Huh? If they use collapse to cut, they will cut you. If they use gun to shoot, anything will catch you. Even if they put fire, you will burn. We also have open shelter. It's open. You are just there. Everybody is seeing you. Even if you are in the toilet, people are seeing you. If you are eating, people are seeing you. You are open. Very vulnerable. Graces varies. They are not the same thing. Grace, I'm on that grace. I'm on, they vary. They, they are not the same thing. The prophetic ministry is one of the highest. A prophet cannot have a pastor as a friend. They don't cooperate. They are not the same people. They are not mates. You, you, you can never see a prophet that has a pastor as a friend. They are not the same kind of people. They don't reason the same way. The pastor sees the prophet as a magician. They fear the prophets. They are not the same. In churches, prophets don't join Christian association. Like me, I don't belong to anyone. I'm not ready to join. I know Prophet Jeremiah does not belong to anyone. Prophet T.B. Joshua does not belong to anyone. Because they are prophets. They are different. Their life is different. Their ministry is different. They don't join Christian association. They don't. Because they are different. The prophetic order is the most dangerous order that God put in place. All of them, God put all of them to, in place. Up to the evangelical order, which is the least. God, it's God that put all of them in place. They are designed to suit you, your purpose. There are some of you who are coming to this church now because you are in trouble. After the trouble, you go back to your church. I'm okay by that. I'm okay. I'm not against that. It's not about members. It's about solving your problems. That is my belief. Yes. My belief is to solve your problem, not to tie you in this church. No. But there are some of you that you have seen that there is grace in this church. I have to stay. I believe if I can, if I can be in a church like this, I will do better. That is up to you to decide. Now your problem, not my problem. I don't have any problem. My problem is what I'm just doing now. It's your job. It's your cup of tea. The prophetic order is a money order. You know what they call money? Spiritual coverage. Now, besides your man of God that has authority and power over you, before I go, I want to tell you some persons in your life apart from the church, that also have power over you. There are people that have power over you. If you have been coming to this church, I have taught you before. There are persons in your life that have power over you. One of these people, persons that have power over you, is your children. Your child. Your child has power over you. If your child is crying somewhere, Things cannot work for you. 
The shy does not have to be a wish first. Sorry, but it's the truth. Okay, but it's the truth. Right? You're shy. You're shy. If you're shy, especially some of you that have children that you denied, you rejected them, you denied the children. See, if you are here and you know that somebody got pregnant for you many years ago and you denied it, come and meet my pastor so when they close, meet them, confess. If not, you will waste this full lifetime. You will waste it. There are some of you, you are good impregnating women and denying. You will deny. I mean, you're only once, only once. Ah, only once. Only once. Okay. You deny. Some ladies will never bother you. They will just be heartbroken. They will just leave you. You feel the problem don't end. And that time the problem starts. You will say your life, eh? Go be like, go go up, go come down. Go come down. You, you've been wondering what is wrong with me. Hey, now home problem. Not the home problem. Now own problem. Your own problem. Now you cause harm. Think, oh, just think well. Many of you are here. If I say my call people out, I go call more than 20. Eh? I have a brother. He's one of my cameramen. Some years ago, he came to meet me. He said, Prophet. It was about six years now, or five years. Oh, when you get it. Say, Prophet, nothing is working for me. Nothing is working. I've done this. He's, he's carrying camera. Oh, he should be in the camera room. He's a big man now. Then he was just a boy, a dry cleaner. He go, wash, wash, wash. I have pee. No, no way to eat. He was still struggling. And when he met me, I now look at him. And I asked the Holy Spirit, I said, this young man has been working in this church. He's an usher. He's been working. And at times, he will even come wash up my clothes, iron, do everything. Why is he suffering like this? And the Holy Spirit said, you want to know? I said, yes. Say he has denied the child. He rejected the child. And I saw the little child. I said, wow. And I said, see, you rejected a shy long ago. Say, no, me, no, ah, no, prophet, no. I, I, I was, I was heartbroken. I said, oh. I saw it too. I look at him. I said, okay, if you say you didn't reject any shy anytime, then go. You're not going to go. Constant. Come the tongue from one place. You the tongue from one place. I said, I said, go now. I see that I can still remember that very spot at the church in Ogeli. He now said, uh, not, not true. True. This year, I know if he call her out. Uh, one of my girlfriends in Oli. Then we were living in Oli. And uh, she, I said, where is the child now? And the child is with them. And I call Pastor Tao, her mama, I say, you push, should come home. Go see this man. He rejected the shy. We said, okay, how do we get the shy? He said, we cannot get the shy though. I rejected the shy. And the girl, you know what the girl did? The girl and not took the shy to another man. That man knowing it's not his shy. The man also tossed them away. You know, Leo, this thing is almost 20 years now. Now, the mother of that man being a good woman, now took the child. Ah, you people cannot throw this child outside like this. If whether it's the child of my son or not, let me raise the child up. The mother then raised the child up for 14 years before that prophecy. 14 years. The child up, big, big girl, big, a woman now. 14, 15 years. Before the prophecy, you see the place for the prophetic order, it solves problems. If, if they have told that man that it's because of that child you are pardoned, he wouldn't have believed it. Even if God had told him in the dream, he would put it aside and say, this is a bad dream. 
True life story, oh, sir. He's here. Oh, I don't want to call him out so that you don't point too much fingers. Now, how do we get the shy back? It's a big problem. Say, I cannot go there. If I go, you know, Soko people, they will cut me off. I say, you be Soko too now. You must go. I say, okay, come. Let's pray for you. We then pray for him on the altar. We say, go. He now went there. When he got there, they now told him that. The shy, ah, we don't know where the shy is, so he started begging. They said, okay. We took the shy to another family entirely. As God, we have it now went there. The mother that raised up that shy, that other strange woman that raised up the shy, she was not a problem because she has raised up the shy. Shy said, don't finish secondary school. So, who, who we won't give you to? You know, now her shy, her son's shy. Now, we then prayed again. We said, go. Now, when the woman has said, this is your father, follow him. He came back with a child, a grown-up woman. Woman. Grown-up. We were shocked. Even me, when I see the vision, I fear. I said, Jesus. Grown-up, fine girl. Very beautiful girl. And I asked the child in his presence, I said, all these years that you have been living without a father, how do you feel? She said, I feel shocked. She even had microphone one day in this church. I don't know if you remember. She said, I felt bad. I'm angry. What have I done? Why will he treat me like this? He brought me into this world and abandoned me. Wait, artists want to work for you. This not feel work oh, if you abandon any child. Even if the child is in Cameroon, trek to the Cameroon and bring that child. If not, don't waste your time. Pray and not walk. Pray and not go walk oh, man, just warn you. He brought, as I speak, that child should be in final years or 300 levels or in Abraka. She's in university now. I believe she must have rounded up or she's about rounding up. Do you know after we brought the child? Breakthrough came. Brother that was suffering. If you see the marriage, the wedding he did, you know, only I was there. Big marriage. As I speak, he packed his car outside. Packed his car. Eh? Married, why got born? Like two or three children. Life has changed. Levels have also. We not pray too much. Everything division, no. Most of them are common sense. That is not common. A child has authority over you. If you have a child and you abandon that child, things cannot work. The child does not have to be in wish. Then, if you have children. And you don't care about them. Things cannot work. At times they will just remember their father. And they will be angry. At times a child can just see another man with his children. Walking along the road. Go say, where is my father? He will be, he will, the child will just feel bad. Things cannot work. There are some of you here. You ask your children to call you auntie. It's foolishness. You are ashamed. Of your life that you have had a child before, out of mistake. So, call me auntie. Oh. See, I'm not your mommy. Oh. I'm your auntie. Call it again, auntie. Call it again, auntie. Very good. There, I catch you. Call me mommy. You will know. <laughs> Be proud of your life. Be proud of what God has given to you. The same God will bring a man. In this church, a sister got married. Eh? In this church, to Zoro. She had grown-up daughters. If we say, those of you that want to get married, the daughters go first run, come, and they're fine, tall. If you see them, fine, two fine grown-up daughters. The mother will also come out and join them. And as she not fine. In this church, she first those daughters marry. Young man married her to Zora. Eh? You're not there yet. So why are you ashamed of your children? Young man who never born, I marry her, go Zora. He saw the daughter so before he married the mother. Go, sorrow. You stay here. You get only one child. Child never reached 10 years self. You say you must call me auntie. Let me burn you. Some of you, you even abandon your children with your mother, with your auntie, your sisters. Your children are suffering and you won't marry. Come marry now. Nah. Everything be prayer. You, you, you must know these laws. There are spiritual laws. The next person that has power over you, beside your children, are your parents. 
your father, the one who born you so, your mother, the one who born you so, they have power. Don't insult them. Your mother does not have to be in wish to lock you. If she's angry, you are locked. Your father does not have to be a wizard to lock you. That now you have finished school, you can shout at your father. Don't try it. It's foolishness. Take care of them. You have money, your father is trekking. You are a disgrace. You are a shame. A shame going somewhere to destroy itself. You have money, you are driving the big car. Your father is trekking. You, you, you are a disgrace. I'm so ashamed of you. You don't care about your parents. My father gets money now. They, they pay on pension. How much is the pension? There are some of you, you are bad on your father because he didn't train you to school. But you are still living well. Why don't you move on? Take good care of them. There are some of you, you are bad on your parents because some stupid men of God that told you your father is a wish, your mother is a wish, your father is a wizard. When did they train you? You not been wish you. When he give birth to you, he not be wish you. Because of you, he don't use yourself rally. That time, he not be wizard, oh. Now, nah, you don't manage get money. Now, nah, now, nah, he got to be wizard. Don't you see you are a fool? You are a big fool. Big fool. Even if your mother has confessed that I'm a wish, still take care of her. Take care of her. Send her money. There are some of you, you don't know anything in the spirit realm. That you had a dream, you now saw your mother had teeth, it's like this. Does not mean it's your mother. Be careful. That you had a dream, you now saw your father trying to cut your neck. Does not mean it's your father. Be careful. Meet a genuine man of God to check them for you. Even if a man of God told you that your father or your mother is a wish, take care of them. Had it been born you for the time where they take born them? You foresee the wish. Because that time, witchcraft, they reign. People, they carry their children, they go meet witch doctor. Give a wish for me. Give a wish. Give a wish. Say, mate, not go feel bitter. They have not told you before. Go and ask your father, I will tell you. At their time, they even go to look for the wish to buy so that they can have her. If you don't know, no. See, be smart, oh. Don't be a foolish Christian. Be smart. As smart the devils. Bishop, another person that has power so much over you are your parents. Take care of them. Then the third one that has power over you are the bloodline. The bloodline. Your sibling. Your brother. Your sister. Your brother can cause you to walk. Because both of you are the same blood. Your sister can curse you. It will work. Your friend will curse, curse, curse. It will not work. If you like me, naked, do like this, curse you. Ooh. You don't have anything in common with them. It's a friend, friend, not friend. But your brother, your brother, your sister, get power over you. If you do like this, go follow you. Except you're strong. That's why Jesus said, a man's enemies and members of his household. Friends, they before they said household. Be careful. <laughs> Thank you. It's good you know this laws. So if you are looking for people that are worrying you, they are in the house, not outside. So another person that has power is your brother, your sister. So be careful with them. Don't offend them. Don't make trouble with them. Don't talk to them anyhow. Whatever you are doing with them, do your part. Know that you have done your part and you've done it well. Don't also oppress them. Don't feel big for them. That I have money now so I can. No, not for your family people. They have power over you. Then the last one that is good I taught you, we call it the family tree. Family tree. Your siblings, uh, yeah, not siblings, your cousins, Relatives, huh? Uncle, extended family, they also have power, but not like your brother. See, your uncle cannot kill you 
without one of your siblings signing it. Answer all the wishes. Open wish here. Tell us. I don't want you to know the level of authority. Your uncle cannot go to Kovun and kill you without one of your siblings signing it. One of your siblings must consent to it. Spiritual laws. Spiritual laws. So it's good you know these things. The people that matters the most to you in your life are three people. One, your spiritual father or mother. It matters a lot. Don't play with those people. Don't also offend them. They have power over you. Because they are carrying the cover, the protection that is protecting you. Two, your child. The child that you gave birth to. Please, don't maltreat them. They have power over you. A child can cry. Things will go wrong. The third one, your parents. Your parents. Your parents, they are power. Don't play with them. Your siblings, they are power. Don't play with them. Don't look them as nobody. No. They are power over you. I believe you have learned a lot. This year, be smart. Be very smart. Are you still here? Okay, why the disappointment? Most of you, is because you have refused to change. You have refused to change. Change. Don't allow devil build altar in you. Some of you, devils are living in you because of your habits, your lifestyle. So don't allow it, please. Even though you're not supposed to be having disappointment. A new chapter. Are you still here? A new chapter. Are you here now? Are you ready for it? A new chapter. We are grateful. Oh. We are grateful, oh, 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 thank you for all you have done. Now let me see you and your angels open the next chapter. Let it be open. As this book is open, let it open. Now. Let it open. Let it open. Holy Spirit, let it open. Yes. Whatever devils have closed in your life, let it open. Let them all open. Now, let them open. Can I see you? Holy angels, let them open. Let it open. Let it open. The devils can close one part. Open every other part. Let them open. Let it open. Let them open. No more failure. No more failure. No more failure. Who, who, who? Who is causing the failure? What is causing the failure? As this Bible is open, can I see you? Holy angels, let me see you. Let me see you. Let me see your walk. Now, let me see your hand. 
Yes. Yes. No matter what they have done, no matter the sacrifice, you that they have placed a canoe on a tree junction as a sacrifice that you, you will never have money. I stand on this auction, this higher grace that Jesus has given to me. Let me see fire upon them. Let them burn. Now, let them burn. Now, let them burn. Let them burn. Every opposition. Let it burn. Now, let it burn. Let it burn. Let it burn. Every opposition. Whatever the close, whether it's your money or your marriage, any area of your life that they close, let me see fire upon it. Now, let me see your fire. Power of the Holy Ghost. 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 Whatever they close, any part of your life that they have closed, let it open. Now, where you started and it did not work, now let them walk. Let it walk. Let it walk. Let them walk. Holy Spirit, can I see you? Let me see you at work in their lives. Let me see you. Can I see you? Pull it. Pull it now. Pull it all out. Let me see you removing it. Remove those blockade. The blockade. Anywhere. Whether they are watching us on the screen. Anywhere all over the world. Whatever power that is blocking you. Whatever power. Whether they have feathers. Or they are fishes. Or they are serpents. Or it's an evil book that they have been reading against you. I stand in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let them pray now. Every bit. Whatever power. Whatever they have done, who can say a word or do a thing and it will come to pass when Jesus has not said so? Who? Who is blocking you? Whatever that is standing as a barrier, a barricade to stop you, to stop your expectations as I move, let them break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break. Break. Fire. Break. Fire. Break. Fire. Break. Whatever power that called itself failure. Failure that is following you. Let them die. Let them die. Let them die. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, every power of failure that they program on you. That you walk and walk when it's time to reap it will fail. What nonsense. That power in the name of Jesus, let it cash fire. Cash fire. Cash fire. Power that moves you into relationship. When it's getting to marriage, it will fail. Cash fire. Cash fire. Cash fire, cash fire, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Every mouth that is causing you, whether it's a human being or a demon, let it receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire. Receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire. Whatever they have done on the ground, sacrifice, whatever they did, buried or the place on any junction, anywhere in the ground that, that they, are, they are using to stop your expectations. As I march this ground, I command my angels, scatter it all, scatter it all, scatter, 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 fire, 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 fire. Whatever power that is making you to walk in vain. Now let them die. 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 
die, 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 die. Anywhere they loaded money in the coven, and they are saying it's your money that they loaded in that coven. Now I scatter these covens. I scatter these covens. Scatter, 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 scatter. Let them break and scatter. Let them break and scatter. Whatever they have remoted into your body that they are using to monitor you. I come out fire upon it. Now jump out. Come out. Jump. Out. Come out. 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 Come out. Out. Come out. 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 Come out. Come out. Now. Every power that is in you that they are using to monitor you, to see you, to hear what you are saying, to see your expectations. I set them on fire. 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 I set it on fire. In the name of Jesus. Viewers all over the world. As the Bible is open, your expectations are open. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your marriage is open. In the name of Jesus. A new chapter of greatness. A new chapter of greatness. A new chapter of greatness. Of fruitfulness. Of fruitfulness. Open. 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 They must open. Let them open now. We don't want to wait anymore. We are sick and tired of waiting. Let it walk. Na 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 na. Say, let it open for me. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. My money. Be open. Be open. My fruits be open, be open, be open, be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be Command it to open for you. Let it open. It will never close. Let it open. 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 My position. My position in my career. In my business. In my marriage. My political position. Open, 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 open. Open for me. For me. Pray. Command them to open for you, for you. Pray it for yourself. Let it open. Let it open. Let it open. Say the name of Jesus. I receive. I receive. 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 Receive, receive, unmerited favor. I receive, 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 I